Hi everyone and welcome back to another video of Circuit Digest. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build a simple yet very practical and useful Arduino based GPS tracker. Now, what's very special about this project is that the hardware for this project is really simple. As you can see, we just have an Arduino Uno, a SIM 800 GSM module and a Neo 6M GPS module all connected together and the connections are really simple. Yet, the output of this project looks something like this. So this is a sample test that I have made with this project. As you can see, we have collected so many waypoints. We started here and we have tracked it all the way till here. So this is the current location of the GPS tracker when it was working. Apart from that, you can see a lot of data points. And if you click on each data point, you can see the time at which it was sent and also the location of it. Not just that, let me just get into full screen. You can see there are so many other options which you can explore. In fact, you can get into satellite view to see where your GPS tracker is currently in the satellite view and there are so many other features and all of this is possible thanks to the web app called Geolinker which is an API tool we have built here at Circuit Digest and it is completely free to use you can just register on circuitdigest.cloud and start sending your location details to this Geolinker web app each user can send up to 10,000 waypoints for example this single point here is a waypoint so you can easily build a lot of projects over here you can build multiple trackers as you can see i already have two three trackers which i have tested earlier you can build multiple trackers and it is very useful for hobby projects or even for your personal use sounds very interesting right so let's get started okay so first thing let's start with the hardware for this project so this is the complete hardware for our project and this is the complete circuit diagram. As you can see, it's very simple. All we have is an Arduino Uno board, a GPS module, which is the Neo 6M and the SIM 800L GSM module. Now, as far as the connection goes, the whole setup here can either be powered with a USB input or with a 12 volt lithium battery or lithium polymer battery. Now, once this Arduino Uno is powered, we're going to tap in that 5 volt and ground pins to the breadboard so that we can power both the GPS and the GSM modules. The GPS module is directly powered with 5 volt and ground of Arduino. The GSM module cannot take 5 volt as input, so we have used a diode to drop that voltage to somewhere around 4.5 4.6 and then this 5 volt is given through a diode to the gsm module and the ground is connected directly now both these modules communicate with the help of serial communication so we're going to use the tx and rx pin of the Arduino, which is the hardware serial port and it has only one hardware serial so we're going to use the software serial library and use the eight and nine pins for communicating with sim 800 yet now as you can see only the TX pin of the GPS module is connected to the RX pin of Arduino because we are not going to send any commands to the GPS module. We are only going to read the location from the GPS module. So the RX pin of the GPS is left empty. Only the TX is connected to the Arduino Uno. The reason why we have left the TX pin empty here is that so that we can use it for serial debugging when our debugging our project. Now coming to the SIM 800L side, as you can see, we have two resistors here, which is a voltage divider resistor. So basically, Arduino's UART works with 5 volts and SIM 800L UART works with 3.3 volt. So we have used a potential divider to convert the 5 volt logic to 3.3 volt logic. It's completely optional, but you can use it if you need. And apart from that, we have just connected the RX pin of the SIM 800 module to the pin 8 of Arduino and the TX pin of SIM 800 to the pin 9 of Arduino. Now this is the complete hardware setup and you can see all the connections I previously told you. We have the Neo 6M GPS module along with an antenna which comes along with the module. And on the SIM 800 side also we need an antenna so we have used this coil antenna directly soldered to the antenna pin of SIM 800. You can see the diode over here, the two resistors for potential divider and all other connections are pretty much simple and basic. One more thing you have to note is that we have already inserted a SIM card inside our SIM 800L module. The SIM card that I am using here is the Aptel SIM card, but you can use any network provider that's available with you. Make sure they are capable of 2G. 
and also be careful with the orientation in which you insert the SIM card. Now, one more thing I would like to point out at this point is we have connected the pin number two of Arduino to the reset pin of Arduino, as you can see here. So this is done so that we can uh, use the code to reset the Arduino. And the reason why we are doing that is Arduino has a very low flash memory. So we're going to work with either the GSM module or the GPS module at a single time. So we'll first read the GPS coordinates and then do a reset. And once it's reset, we will send those GPS coordinates to the cloud using SIM 800 here. You can read the complete article if you want to know why exactly we are doing a workaround like this. It's mainly because of the memory problem that's common with the Arduino Uno boards and the Nano boards. But doing this is just a workaround. Now, once your hardware is done, you can power it on and there are two LEDs, one on the SIM 800L module, which you can see over here, and the other on the GPS module, which you can see over here. As soon as you power on the module, you're going to notice this LED flashing very fast, meaning it is searching for a network, and then it will flash once every three seconds to indicate that it is successfully connected to a network. On the GPS side, you'll also see one LED here whenever you're able to connect to the satellites whenever a Neo 6M module is able to connect to the satellite. Of course, it will work only on the outdoors. But with the help of this LED, you can identify if your Neo 6M module is successfully connected to GPS. Okay, now that you know how the complete hardware is put together, I'm just going to connect it to my laptop using the Arduino programming cable and start programming our GPS tracker. So now we have our Arduino ID opened over here and what we should do here is write an Arduino code which will collect the GPS data and send it to the GeoLinker web app using an API call at the SIM 800 GSM module. And to do all this easily, we have built a library called GeoLinker Lite. So let's start by installing that library. To do that, just go to your libraries and search for GeoLinker. And you'll see two libraries written by Circuit Digest. The first one is called GeoLinker. It's for Raspberry Pi Pico, ESP32, and other bigger microcontrollers with higher flash memory. The other one here is called GeoLinker Lite, especially written for the Arduino Uno and the Arduino Nano boards. So you can just go ahead and install it. Like you can see, I have already installed it on my ID over here. You can just proceed and install this library. Once you've done that, you can go to File, examples and you will see something called geolinker light you can open this example sketch this is all you have to do you don't have to write any lines of code this library takes care of everything for you but there are certain things you have to change you have to go to geolinker register get an api key so let me just walk you through all that first thing you have to do is get over to circuitdigest.cloud this is the web link we have so many apis but what we are interested here is the geolinker gps visualizer just click on track and as you can see mine all already shows some GPS data which I have tested earlier for the sake of this project and few others. Let me just go ahead and delete all this data. <clears throat> So yeah, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see that there is no GPS data found because you haven't sent anything to GeoLinker yet. And you'll see options to how to upload data. So GeoLinker is not just limited to Arduino. You can use it with ESP32. You can use it with Pico. So there are a lot of things that you can do. But I'm not going to get into details of that. If you're interested, you can just click on how to upload and read that article yourself. But let's continue with our Arduino program over here. So to do that, we need two things. One, you have to register for circuitdigest.cloud. Just provide your email ID and uh, register. If you have already registered, just get into my account and you can copy the API key from here. So this API key will be unique for everyone. If it is not there, you have to generate it. Just solve a CAPTCHA and you will be able to see your API key over there. If you want step-by-step -step instructions on how to do all this, you can check out this tutorial, which explains the complete things that I'm demonstrating to you in this tutorial as a neat article. So you can also check that out. But yeah, just go to circuitdigest.cloud and get into my account and get this API key. And we are going to paste that API key over here. So geolinker.set API key is where you want to give your API key. 
and then you have to set the modem API. So for my hardware over here, I have used an Atel SIM card. Now remember this is SIM 800L, you can only use 2G supported SIM cards. So mine here is Atel and it works well in India. If you're outside, you might use any other 2G SIM cards. Whatever SIM card or whatever network provider you use, you should find their APN number. To do that, just go to Google and search for, I'm gonna search for Atel APN. You can just search for any network provider that you're using. And when you do that, you're gonna find something like this. So the APN for Atel is atelgprs.com. You will find it for other SIM card providers as well. You can just do a go simple Google search and you can use that over here. So atlgprs.com. So this APN allows our SIM card to connect to the internet and send the GPS data to our GeoLink or web app. So now that is done. The other option you have is set device ID. Now I'm calling my device Arduino underscore tracker, but you can call it anything. You can even call it my personal tracker or any other name that you wish, but I'm just gonna leave it to Arduino tracker for now. If you want, you can change few other things. For example, we have something called maximum retries. So if we don't get a GPS data from the GPS module or if our GSM is not able to connect to the network, we can set how many times we want to retry before getting the latest location. So I'm going, I have set it thrice and you can change it if you want. And then the debug level is set to one. You can make it zero if you don't want to debug. Basically, if you set debug level one, and open the serial monitor, which I'll be doing later, you can see what exactly is happening within your Arduino tracker. So let's leave it at debug level one. And the last thing here, which you might wanna change is the time zone. For example, I am in India and we are five and a half hours ahead of the Greenwich Mean Time. So I have mentioned 5.30. If you're in a different country, you might wanna change this accordingly. Okay, so that's it guys, nothing else to change here. So let's leave it as such and click on the upload button and we are all done here. Okay, so now the code is uploaded, but in order to test it, we can't do it inside the room because the Neo 6M GPS module will not be able to connect to any satellites and you're not gonna see any results. So I'm gonna just keep it connected to my laptop and take it outside of the office for a walk so that I can show you what's appearing on the serial monitor and you can also see the data being updated on the GeoLinker web app. So even now when I click on this track button, I am not seeing any data over here, but all that will change once I step out and the GPS is able to receive some data. I'm just gonna refresh this page and show you what's happening on this page, as well as show it on my serial monitor on what is happening. So let's do that. So as you can see, the debug messages on my serial monitor shows that it is able to get GPS data successfully and it is showing every single attempt and it is getting a response code 200 from the GeoLinker API saying that the data was sent there successfully. On the right side, you can see that as I move along, the GPS data is updated and you can also see the hardware module along with my laptop. So that's it guys, this is how easy it is to build a GPS tracker module. Obviously, I'm gonna show you more of the working video by taking it around the office and also show a screen recording on how the tracker is updating. So that's all for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed watching it. We wanted to make GPS tracking using Arduino as simple and as easy and interesting as possible. And I believe we have made some efforts towards it. If you like it, please do consider subscribing to our channel if you have any questions or suggestions, please head over to the article on our website. Link is in the description. You can leave them in the comment section and we will definitely write back to you. That's it guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Tata. Bye-bye.